Hello everyone, my name is Yusuke Kondo from Hokkaido University. In this study, we have conducted a parabolic flight experiment to observe the downward flame spread and extinction over electric wire sample in partial gravity environment as a basis for spacecraft fire safety. And this experimental work is accomplished by collaborative work with Yutao John Mari, Professor Guillaume at Sorbonne University and Professor Augustine at University College London. The motivation of our study is uh, spacecraft fire safety. The recent manned space programs such as Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway and Artemis program require research for creating uh, better fire safety in partial gravity environment, such as lunar or Martian gravity level. However, because of the difficulty of achieving the partial gravity on the ground, very limited research has investigated the combustion characteristic of solid material in partial gravity environment. So instead of acquiring the actual data in the partial gravity environment, uh, several analogy experiments have been developed by many researchers uh, to replicate the flammability characteristic in partial gravity, uh, such as pressure gravity modeling or observing the flame spread in narrow channel apparatus. However, at this stage, uh, we don't have enough data to demonstrate the applicability, applicability of the, the, their methodologies. Uh, although it is a challenge to achieve high precision and long-term partial gravity environment on Earth, uh, several researchers have explored uh, flame spread phenomena over solid fuels in partial gravity environment. For instance, figure on the left shows a previous study performed by Sachs Tedder and Professor James Dean in 1994. They have also performed a parabolic flight ex experiment to see the characteristic of flammability of uh, thin papers. And they have uh, measured the limiting oxygen concentration as a function of gravity level and revealed that paper seed burn to lower oxygen concentration and the partial gravity environment than normal gravity environment. And a unique study has been performed by Dr. Sandy Olson at NASA Grand Research Center. Uh, they have developed a centrifuge apparatus and performed a drop tower experiment uh, to simulate the partial gravity environment using the centrifugal acceleration. And they have also measured uh, limiting oxygen concentration as a function of gravity level for the several types of material and reported that the material can burn to lower oxygen concentration in the lunar or Martian gravity level than normal gravity condition. So the problem here is the current spacecraft fire safety standards represented by the NASA standard 601B evaluates the material flammability in normal gravity environment. That means and those previous study uh, suggest us that they are not conservative for the partial gravity and some safety factors should be considered to accurately evaluate the material flammability in the partial gravity environment. So the objective of our study is to provide uh, more data for discussing what needs to be considered to evaluate the flammability of material in partial gravity environment. And for this purpose, we have experimentally investigated the flame spread characteristic over electric wires and various gravity conditions as a basis for fire safety design and fire safety research in future, future space exploration. And the reason why we study the electric uh, flammability of electric wires is uh, they are identified as a potential cause of fire in the spacecraft. And this slide shows an experimental facility in using our studies. So experiments are basically performed on board of airplane and parabolic flight uh, uh, experiments are conducted. And this photograph shows the experimental setup designed by the Professor Guillaume's group. It consists of a combustion chamber and some flow system and air and nitrogen cylinders. The figure shows the schematic of experimental uh, uh, combustion chamber. It consists of inlet part and outlet part and the main body which has glass, glass windows for the optical access. And wire sample is set at the uh, center line of the window tunnel 
and ignited by the elect electrically heated wire coil. And uh, we observed the downward flame spread after ignition in this study. The burning behavior of the sample is recorded by the camera, and the LED light is installed uh, on, in the background of the uh, wire sample. And this LED light is turned on and off at a half cycle of uh, camera FPS. So this uh, optic, optic system allows us to uh, uh, capture the backlit and non-backlit image alternately. And this is the information about the experimental condition. The solid fuel used in our study is laboratory wire sample, which is specially designed for our combustion experiment. The insulation material is low density polyethylene, and copper and nichrome wire are selected as core material to see the effect of uh, core conductivity on the insulation flammability. And the uh, dimension is summarized as, as shown here. And the flame spread was observed under four kinds of gravity level, including the lunar and the Martian gravity level. And the oxygen concentration and the forced flow velocity is also varied during the experiment. And the right figure shows the typical time history of the gravity level uh, during the parabolic flight experiment. As you can see, although there is a fluctuation of the gravity level, uh, parabolic flight uh, successfully realized the uh, uh, zero G and lunar gravity level and Martian gravity level. So, firstly, I would like to share the flame spread behavior and the different gravity level. The, the sample in the video is a, a polyethylene insulated nichrome wire, and except, except for the gravity level, uh, experimental condition are uh, same. So, as you can see, uh, because uh, polyethylene is a kind of uh, thermoplastic material, it always melts first before the gasification. And this molten uh, polymer shows uh, unique behaviors uh, depending on the gravity condition. For instance, in the normal gravity and zero G condition, so uh, molten polymer is accumulated uh, in, the per, uh, in the flame and it forms an ellipsoidal shape due to surface tension. However, as the gravity level increases, it's uh, stretched to the down, downward direction and eventually drip down along the wire surface. So this is uh, one of the unique uh, behavior of the, observed in the partial gravity experiment. Additionally, the flame shape is also affected by the gravity level. As you can see, as the gravity level increases, the diameter of the frame becomes small due to the enhancement of uh, natural convection. So in order to quantify the frame spread rate under the given condition, we have performed an image analysis to detect the frame motion. And as shown here, we have defined the four characteristic location using the backlit and non-backlit image. Uh, as shown here, the leading edge and trailing edge of the molten polymer is detected and also leading edge of the leading edge and the trailing edge of the visible frame is uh, detected. And uh, those figures show the typical analysis result uh, for the nichrome and the copper case. The figure on the top shows the time history of each location and as you can see the frame along the nichrome wire uh, reaches the steady state right after ignition. But cup frame along the copper sample requires a longer time to reach the steady frame spread. And since we have observed a time-dependent frame spread phenomena, uh, we did not perform the linear regression to the data. Instead, we have calculated the instantaneous moving velocity at each position by applying the sabatsky gorai filter known as local least square method. So figure shows the instantaneous uh, time history of instantaneous velocity of each location. And this black plot indicates the motion of the uh, dripping. Some periodic motion of dripping were observed in partial gravity environment. And after observing the, all the data, the trailing edge of the molten polymer shows the most reliable data. So we uh, decide in this study, the average value of the last three seconds of partial gravity uh, for a trailing edge of the molten polymer was defined as a spread rate. 
So this slide shows the measured frame split rate as a function of gravity level. As shown in this figure, so gravity changes the frame split rate uh, significantly. In the figure, the field circle symbols uh, data for copper case and open circles uh, data for nichrome case. And different color indicates the different oxygen concentration. So as you can see, the, uh, as oxygen concentration increases, uh, spread rate increases. And uh, as for the effect of core material on the spread rate, the so copper wire shows always shows a greater spread rate than nichrome wire. This means uh, for the heat conduction in the solid phase can enhance the frame spread rate. And as for the effect of uh, gravity, uh, spread rate uh, decreased monotonically with decreasing the gravity level of both uh, copper and nichrome case. So this would be attributed by the attributed to the heat flux change of heat flux, flux heating due to the change of natural convection. So as I shown in the video, so frame diameter changes uh, in different gravity level. So this uh, could be uh, one of the reasons uh, of the enhancement of uh, frame spread and the higher gravity condition. Additionally, if we carefully look at the spread frame spread trend, so the rate of increase of frame spread is greater for copper case than nichrome case. This is one of the unique features observed uh, for high conductive wire. So basically high conductive wire can recirculate more heat from the downstream frame to the upstream unburned zone. So the change of heat flux is, is more effectively uh, works to enhance the frame spread of a high conductive wire. So we can uh, this uh, characteristic can be associated with some uh, frame spread over a summary six material in high flow velocity condition. So this slide shows the flammability limit as a function of gravity level. The result for nichrome and copper case are presented. In the figure, circle and cross symbol correspond to the flammable and not flammable condition. And this dotted line is approximated flammability boundary. And in the previous slide, uh, I have explained the split rate as a function of gravity level. And the split rate was suppressed uh, under lower uh, gravity condition. But uh, interestingly, the flammability boundary is expanded and the lower uh, gravity condition for nichrome case, but its flammability boundary for uh, copper sample is less affected by the gravity level. And another interesting point is the, the flammability limit. So limiting oxygen concentration of copper, uh, well, copper sample shows the larger value than the nichrome wire under low gravity condition, but in higher gravity conditions, the limiting ocean concentration of copper wire shows the lower value. That means in low gravity condition, copper wire suppress the insulation flammability, but higher, higher gravity condition, copper wire enhance the flammability of insulation from the viewpoint of uh, flammability limit. And uh, in our previous work, uh, we have clarified why the high conductive wire can increase the LOC of insulation material. Uh, this is caused by the forward heat conduction through the wire core. Uh, and uh, <coughs> we have clarified uh, forward heat conduction can uh, preheat the insulation, but it can increase the heat loss from the uh, system during the flame spread event. As a result, high conductive wire can increase the limiting oxygen concentration. On the other hand, uh, uh, the cause of a smaller LOC in high convective, con uh, high com high convective uh, condition is remained uh, unclear. And one of the possible explanations is the difference of frame spread rate. So highly conductive wire can increase the frame spread rate, and this can increase the fuel concentration in the reaction zone. So the frame along the highly conductive wire could be more stable and hard to blow, blow out. So in conclusion, so frame spread and extinction of uh, LDP insulated wires were investigated for the first time uh, under partial gravity environment. And uh, gravity affects uh, not only the frame shape, but also the dynamic motion of the molten matter during the frame spread event. 
and frame spread rate decreased with decreasing gravity rule. This could be attributed to the change of the heat flux heating from the frame to the solid surface due to the change of frame height. And for heat conduction through the wire core enhances the frame spread rate. As a result, frames uh, spreading over high conductive wire could be less likely to blow off, but maybe more likely to quench uh, due to significant heat loss from the solid surface. Uh, thank you for listening.